Mitch Baker hears some devastating news in Thursday's episode of EastEnders, 7 p.m., CRTV Guide for full listings. Mitch Baker and the Taylors await news on Avery after his shop collapse. Concerned, Mitch calls up Avery's two sons, Finley and Felix who show up to support their dad. But they soon drop the ultimate bombshell on the Taylor family. What could it be? Meanwhile, an anxious Sharon Watts waits for news on what's happened to Phil after their prison visit. Has Craig killed Phil? Were Sharon's pleas enough for him to take Keeble's deal? Elsewhere, Kathy Beale is struggling to keep her fractured family together as tensions rise between her grandson Peter Beale and son Ben Mitchell. Peter questions Jay Brown and Jay soon realizes that Peter knows Ben attacked him. Jay then encourages Ben to tell him the truth and Ben is keen to make peace with Peter over the incident, but Peter has no interest in forgiving him. Will Peter come round and listen to what Ben has to say? Or will he report Ben to the police? In the past, Kathy has threatened to disown Peter if he goes to the police and reports Ben. Unbeknownst to Peter, Kathy has been supporting Ben after he was raped by Albert Bar manager Lewis Butler, Aidan O'Callaghan, so has refused to do what Peter asked. But will Peter go against his grandmother's words and report him anyway? Elsewhere, with Mick Carter and Shirley Carter off to visit Zsa Zsa, Linda Carter and Mick's new squeeze Janine Butcher are left to work the bar at the Vic. But it seems that Linda Carter is enjoying getting back to where she belongs and having the opportunity to boss around her enemy Janine while the Carter clan is away. With the pair alone, could this be the time where the truth behind the car crash comes to light and Janine's vile scheme is exposed?